Okay, so this is our first video in a very long time. Um, it's been a few months pretty much since my last upload. I can't remember the last time I did this, but uh, if you recall before, if you've been watching any of the previous videos, I haven't done any of the like a webcam capture. It's just been straight up screen capture. So I figured I would change things up a bit I've got a camcorder, or sorry, a webcam, so I figured maybe I would try that. I got a new mic, so um, hopefully it's a little bit clearer in the audio. Um, still using a, a, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but a, you know, it's a, it's a Wacom. It's um, uh, one of those graphics tablets um, so that uh, I can essentially write uh, the solution onto the screen. I can even save it as a PDF so I can send it to you guys. Um, and I think what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to um, put the question along with like a like a time in which that question appears in the video so that you don't have to wait through the whole video until you get the answer that you're looking for, especially with word problems, maybe not so much with just simple factoring exercises and simplifying. Um, I'm starting with grade 11 math on my way back uh, to producing videos and then my eventual goal is to do uh, first year physics and first year mathematics so that's my goal and um, uh, let's get started so I'm just gonna do simple factoring exercises uh, to start off I'm not gonna go crazy today um, but simple factoring exercises for grade 11 math the code course code for um, Ontario is MCR3U. What I'm going to do is I will actually zoom in on the sucker. Um, so zoom in. And uh, so <clears throat> you can get this PDF off of the TVDSB website. Um, so that's available. So check it out and uh, really simple factoring exercise. So um, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna finish each page because they come in pages. I'm gonna finish the page and uh, I'm gonna save the PDF and I'm gonna you know, leave a link in the description so you can get to it with the solutions and the question sheet. So, okay, so we've got a factoring exercise. Oof, okay, so we've got x squared minus X. It's a little laggy on the Windows computer. But okay, so we've got a simple factoring exercise of a quadratic expression. And you've got the number in the end is 12. And you have a difference of negative 1. Um, so two numbers are multiplied to 12, but have a difference of negative 1 or a difference of one, I mean, you can look at it that way. So you can do four and three. So let's do that. You can tell it's laggy. Um, so what I start off by doing is I put the numbers down, right? And then I see how I can get a negative in the middle, right? So generally, when you have a negative in the middle, you have to give the bigger number the minus sign in the factoring expression. Right, so you got to do negative four and positive three, and now um, that's it. So I'm not solving any equation; it's just factor the expression. So that's what I end up getting. And so now let's go to B. And now we've got another quadratic, of course. Um, you beat to death quadratics in grade ten and eleven. That's what I noticed. Um, now. There is a method to solving this question, and that is to split the middle term. What I tend to do is I um, do it a different way, which is essentially the same way as I did in part A. Uh, and basically, 3 is a prime number, right? So you can only get 3 in one way as a product, right? 3 and 1. So what I do is I set it up, and I go 3x and x. Right? Okay. And the question is, how am I going to get 18? 18 is a different story. You could do it in multiple ways. Um, so you've got 18 and 1, right? 
and you've got uh, six and three and nine and two. And what I do is I just kind of um, pick the combination that then gives me 25 in the middle or negative 25. So right off the top of my head, I can think of nine and two. And that works because I know that three times nine is 27, right? So if I give that sucker the minus, now that's negative 27. And then if I put a plus here, I'll get negative 25 and that's my factoring. Now, you will see this so many times, so many times. It, whenever you get, whenever you're asked to factor and it's basically two, it, it's a, it's a, it's two terms together uh, with a, you know, a minus or a plus sign, usually a minus sign actually. Um, whenever you're in this situation, it's always a difference of squares, always. So when you have a difference of squares, as I said before in previous videos, right, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b, right? So, a little car in the background. Um, so, uh, all you have to do is factor this as, so you have to, you have to put it in terms of squares. So let's do that. So 81 is 9 squared, right? And x to the 4 is x squared squared. So I can rewrite that first term as 9x squared squared, okay? And then 16 is 4 squared. So my factoring is going to be rewritten as um, 9x squared minus 4 and 9x squared plus 4, okay? Now, uh, 9x squared minus 4 is also a difference of squares, right? So I can split that further. So 9 is 3 squared, x squared is x squared, right? So that can be rewritten as 3x, and then 2 squared is 4, so I can rewrite that as 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2, uh, and 9x squared plus 4. And that's that question. Uh, and then for the finale, okay, we have uh, 25x squared. Man, this is so freaking annoying minus 40 x y okay plus 16 y squared okay now 5 squared is 25 right so 5 squared is 25 and uh, 4 squared is 16 so I can rewrite this term and I bet you, once you get this situation, once you have a perfect square in the end, right, with the plus sign, and a perfect square in the beginning, generally what the solution will be is a perfect square, um, is a perfect square term with these square roots in the middle. So 5x and 4y. And then it's just the minus sign in the middle, and you put a square and you're done essentially, right? Because now, if you if you uh, expand that out, uh, all we have to do is check for the middle term. So 5x times 4y is 20y, and then you do that twice, you get 40xy, right? So I think I made a mistake in that speech. So 5x times 4y is 20xy, so you double it and you get 40xy. So that's basically uh, a simple introduction of factoring, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, it would, I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe and like and comment, and, you know, um, critique if there's anything that um, I could uh, do to improve uh, the quality of the video. Just let me know um, as like my first video back in a long time. So let me know. Let me know um, what you think. I also have an Instagram account. I'm going to leave all these links uh, in the description. Uh, the Instagram account is at Lehigh Tutoring. Uh, all one word, obviously. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I think I also have a Twitter account. Um, I actually don't know, but, uh, but, uh, I'll leave all the links. Thank you so much. Peace.